on that one. So anyways, gonna remove the accessories, whatever is on your way. The top intake, use the plastic part. Whatever you see, whatever is on your way, disconnect. It's mainly gonna be 12 millimeters, 12, 12. That one is 17, 18. Uh, but on this side, maybe nothing, it's just maybe an alternator. So remove the alternator, remove the top intake part, water hoses that goes into the uh, throttle divider, remove that, whatever on there, remove it. Okay, removing the intake, screws or bolts wise, it's gonna be two right here next to the oil dipstick, 10 millimeter, they're all gonna be 10 millimeter, just two nuts from there. Two there and come the other side it's gonna be three bolts same 10 millimeter so one here one here and one there by removing that one you'll be able to remove it boom of course plugs whatever you see you see this one right here this one right here uh, whatever else, whatever else you see the ones that go to the throttle body which is water hoses one here the one on the other side vacuums whatever you see you have to disconnect so just make sure you don't just start uh, pulling stuff you see this one right here for the secondary pump twist and pull boom if you want mark them all if not take pictures take a bunch of pictures pictures we all have a smartphone. We have a camera, so just take everything out. Take your time. See, once you have that one there, see those three plugs in there? For the solenoids, back there. See those right there? Boom. Once you're lifting it, you have the tab. Push the tab and remove the plugs. So take your time. Don't use disconnect and pull it or junk it. No, take your time. Take a lot of pictures too. Okay, intake is out. Boom, boom, boom. See the plugs on the back. There's the fuel. So it's there. And here's the intake itself. So you guys have, you know, you guys can have an idea. Always, if you're removing the intake, you're gonna reinstall. Make sure the O-rings are good and they're not flat. If not, always replace them. So you can have an idea what's in there. So yeah. Okay, now we're at the point uh, where we're supposed to remove the two hardest uh, bolts for the transmission on the engine. That will be this one here and this one here. The way I do it, I have this one. Link is in the description. That's the easiest way. You don't want to deal. Try to get them loose from the bottom. Or else you're gonna need a super long extension, almost the length of the of the transmission, like fucking almost 30 inches. So it's a 14 millimeter. It's a ratchet, and it folds. So this is the way I do it. Fold it. And the bolt. And and I have some lever. Put them up and there you're able to twist it so that's how i get them loose see that one is loose already that's how i remove the other one right there the one here so without this one i uh, will have a hard time it is possible but i mean if you don't have tools yeah it's gonna be hard so Right, I'm just moving the bolt by hand. You should be able to see it right now. It's just coming up. But yeah, that's the that's the ratchet I use. Of course, after removing the intake, it's easier. But the main goal for this one it was you know removing everything at once. 
so this is the bolt so at this point all the bolts are removed we're just gonna miss this one right here for the bracket and the engine and transmission is loose already so now we can bring the cherry picker on the 13 bits you already have the bracket one here one in the back and you'll be able to remove that one so yeah you can even junk it but um here's one more bolt and we're good to go engine is coming out okay all the bolts are out from the back the bracket on that bolt stays in the transmission is already uh, um you know no more bolts holding the end uh, the rear plate no more bolts around the transmission uh torque converter bolts or or nuts are off um the one for the motorman there is off now it's hard to get that one loose but that one seems to be a little bit stripped seems like someone has been messing with this shit before or they replaced the motorman's before so yeah just remember that one from the other ones if um that one always hit it will hit on the on the frame if it hits uh what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna go ahead and remove the whole uh motor mount but yeah first remove windows like i said on, on like the one on the driver's side it was 14 so let's go ahead and remove that one and bring the cherry picker and then we should be able to we should be able to um remove the engine if you don't have anything to level, that's what I use. I use the rims and boom. So, yeah. A little, little rag. So, let me just see what's up with this motor mount. If, and uh, most likely, um, yeah, because this, this one is always on the way. So, I'm going to remove the, the one no, not in there. And then the ones on the bottom. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, after holding the engine with the cherry picker, removing this bracket on the motor mount on the driver's side, I already have it hanging. It's just coming up. It's gonna give you a hard time because of the exhaust, it's gonna be hitting on the transmission bell or the transmission. As you guys can see, I also removed the bracket for the motor mount. On the passenger side, there's the bracket in there. It's gonna give you a hard time, try to find a way so it can fit through here, but it will fit. Just take your time. Of course, the engine has to be held by the cherry picker. Engine has to be uh, up. Once you have that up, just mess with it. Wiggle, wiggle, boom, till it comes out. It will, it's gonna take you a little time, but it will come out. Don't forget uh, any, any plug, whatever. That the O2 sensor plug or stuff like this one got stuck between there it was not a problem because the uh, the other engine has the one O2 sensor. This is not a biggie. Other than that, what else did I remove on top? That's just how it is. And just like that, the engine is out. So what I'm gonna do right now? I'm gonna pull it out. Um, see what I have the little sliding thing so I can roll it. Uh, I'm gonna remove. Whatever I need from here, install it on the other one. So yeah, that's how it's looking. It's already coming out. See the transmission lines, everything is in there. Let me get it all the way out oh, so I can give you a better view. All right, what's going on YouTube? So, I don't have any really videos on, uh, on getting the engine back in and everything. But it's pretty straightforward you're gonna do the same way you're gonna reverse everything the same way you um you remove the engine so it's gonna be the same way so don't even trip don't even worry about it uh the same way you remove the engine that's the same way you're gonna install it so right now all i want is make sure the engine has a compression and make sure that the car is gonna start so i have oil in there i haven't added the coolant yet uh, this car, I still have to figure it out. But there's a bunch of wires in here. Bunch of wires hanging. See all the shit. You see this one right here. So I don't really want to mess with that. So what I'm gonna do? Uh, well, you have the key right here in the ignition. If you try to crank, 
it just clicks so I'm not getting the power to the starter so what I'm gonna do right now leave the switch open I'm gonna get my test light since the cars lift and then we have the stutter right here there's a stutter I'm gonna get the test light and I'm gonna power up applying voltage so I'm touching the automatic on the stutter right there let me see if I can give a better view no okay from there so even though I can pinch on this cable pinch on this cable because this is the one the signal for the starter for me it's easier I have the test light put them down there and right now I'm gonna apply, apply a voltage uh, let's see the car starts let's go for the first start I already prime it so I'm gonna go ahead and see if it starts switch is open So it's gonna be flooded. Just let it go for a little bit and then we'll go again. Let's try to get it running. Same power here. So remember this is a used engine, so it's gonna be flooded. There it is. Uh, it's a bunch of smoke because of the exhaust is disconnected. The crack. Boom. That's all the oil and the engine. So I'm gonna turn it off and add the coolant and fix the exhaust. Cool. Starts. So that's the first start. That's all the coolant the exhaust has in the system and all the oil that uh used engine has. So yeah. Let me tackle that and um I guess if you feel uh following the build thank you for watching again if the owner is going to donate this engine i'm going to open it uh drop in some solid corner seals corner seals goopy perform goopy performer goopy performance apex seals uh put everything together uh, it's going to be a giveaway of course if the only owner donate this engine so i can rebuild it so that's it that's how it is at this point i'm going to go ahead and add the coolant and uh, we we'll go from there Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos.